Um, d during the conference, the, um, the, uh, the leadership of the conference and all the NGOs received uh, uh, death threats from a group called the Black Eagles. I understand they're a, a death squad that's based in rural Colombia somewhere, I don't know where, uh, not in Bogota. But regardless, um, they received these threats from the, the Black Eagles, and as well as the internationalists. I didn't receive one, but we were included in the threats that went to the NGOs. So, um, and considering that the the uh, conference was, you know, centered around Liliani Obando and and a few other very highly prominent uh, political prisoners, now that she's been released, there's a you know a huge amount of fear that she's going to be attacked. Um, her and her family. Um, there's been many, many threats against her family uh, over the years. So um, we're going to uh, try and bring some more people in. I know right now there's people in Britain, people in the United States, um, activists in Australia, Canada. They're all right now, um, there's just a flurry of emails going out trying to get more people here in a hurry to, um, to help protect her. So we'll, uh, so as I say, it's. Um, it's timely that I'm here, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hold the fort for a little while till more people come to, uh, to take my place, I guess. And uh, hopefully nobody hopefully nobody does anything stupid and attacks her. Um, okay, great, don't good. Need that. Uh, 